Thomas is a nice guy. He loves to observe his surroundings, make new friends, and, as narrator Danny Wallace will tell you, Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. And Thomas Was Alone, released on Steam on November 12th, is a story about a red rectangle. Yet developer Mike Bethel has created one of the most compelling stories and gaming experiences of the year. How is that even possible? Thomas was alone. Wow. A weird first thought to have. Early on, the objective presented to you in Thomas Was Alone is simple enough. Exploration for the sake of exploration. Thomas loves to observe and make notes of his surroundings. As he encounters his friends, or rather the other AI constructs that inhabit his virtual world, he starts to notice certain things about them too. Chris, for example, is a bit of a grump. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. Big Slender John likes to show off his jumping prowess, and Claire? Well, Claire's a superhero. She had superpowers. Throughout the game, you'll meet a handful of these characters, who are shapes. They're not even a variety of shapes, they're all four-sided. Yet in some bizarre, inexplicable way, Thomas and his friends all possess personality, character, imagination. You can't help but develop actual emotional ties as you learn more and more about the stories of these little quadrilaterals simply by having them dictated to you by the fantastic performance of Danny Wallace. All right, fear not my skinny friends, for I am Claire and I will save you. Likely known in the gaming world for his role as Sean Hastings in the Assassin's Creed series, Wallace fits perfectly as the savvy narrator of the adventures of Thomas in the game. The others seem suspicious of Laura, and the eager-looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. He's been given plenty of freedom in the role and delivers every bit of metal necessary to turn four-sided shapes into multi-dimensional characters. As a narrative, Thomas Was Alone excels. However, it suffers from a bit of a fallback as far as the actual gameplay is concerned. Level design for the most part is solid, but a little more challenge and variety would have been welcome. My intuition as a player was rarely challenged as solutions were often as simple as they immediately appeared to be. The campaign will last a solid 8 to 10 hours and outside of going back for collectibles you may have missed, you likely won't have much desire to play through the story a second time. Finally, precision movement was a struggle. There was a slight delay between command input and response and I am hesitant to blame that on my own hardware. All we ever experience in video games is a collection of polygons on screen, leading us to an objective or checkpoint that may otherwise be meaningless outside of the context of whatever world we've been given. In that respect, Thomas Was Alone is not much different from anything else. Given the proper atmosphere, the real drive for us as players is the connection that we can make to the characters and the reflection we see in it of ourselves. Looking past a few faults in gameplay and design, Thomas Was Alone is a fascinating experience. But hey, what do I know? I barely played it. And it smelled of awesome.